Welcome back to the uh, E boy. Have we been gone? It's good. And then back. She slept. Uh, welcome back to the podcast. I am Mr. Mo. I'm sorry. <laughs> so ready? I knew that was gonna happen. Welcome back to the podcast. I am Mo. Wait. Ready. Hold on. I can't get it. Welcome back. Wait, don't do that. I'm trying to get like I shifted. Oh, seriously, I shifted because it wasn't doing right. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. No, 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 no. Welcome back to the podcast. I am Mo. And I am Tiff. This is episode number 43 <laughs> of season three. This is what I'm talking about. Please, numbers. numbers. Well, let's tell you. What we doing? What we doing? Um, I'm trying to get, you know. The deep cold out. Okay, like we can't get right tonight. Mm, mm, today. Mm. To... Um. Yeah. Uh, we we do want to address the elephant in the room. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Elephant in the room is that you know you are yet a year older. That's not the elephant in the room. I thought we were gonna start out. Okay, we'll go ahead. Uh, <laughs> not the elephant. It is the elephant in the room. That's recent. That's like yesterday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So on Tuesday, you know what I'm saying? Y'all will be seeing this, and my wife is a year older. You know what I'm saying? How, how does that feel? Uh, I, I I remember. Don't mm. even don't even don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Really? That's what we're gonna do right now. <laughs> that's that's we gonna, oh, gonna run that. <laughs> I remember when I was that age. Really? Yeah, me real quick. But I am turning back the hand of time. So, you being a year older, you know what I'm saying? How is that for you? Be honest, be transparent. <laughs> Yo, it is mind boggling. Like, Why? it is Why? so. Why? Like, I never imagined myself being like rounding out the third. Like, you know how you got, oh, yeah, I'm 21. Like, oh, yeah, well, no, I'm eight. Well, 16, and then, you know, you 18. Then you, like, 21. But, like, who says that I'm all these other ages? Like, nobody does that. Like, I never I never thought about, oh, this is where I'm going to be. You got your toes out? <laughs> I'm thinking like, this thing is too short. It is. I got a small torso but long legs. I can't. Weird. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm done. Like, it's a wrap. But, like, I never thought about being this age. And not only being this age, being this age married with five kids. But, like, five of my own kids and 150. <laughs> thousand of the other kids <laughs> that come along with the territory of being right 150 plus like who 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 thinks about that but no it it really um uh, i think it kind of it shook me a little bit so i'm like dang what and i think i remember texting you like thinking about all of the things like what didn't i accomplish it you know the age i like what didn't i accomplish last year and what do I need to be setting my eyesight for to accomplish this year? Mm. So it was more so like, okay, God, you done brought me to see this age. We got a new year. But what on earth <laughs> am I to do now? Yeah. Like, I'm embarking on so many different things. And it's 
it's scary and mind-boggling overwhelming all of the things because you like okay god now what and the crazy part when you ask that be careful i know but and that's the that's the part right you know, like, like door like doors are opening they we, are we know that a shift will happen a shift is coming but it's like i think if you go back to season was that season two was that season one what we talked about that was season one we talked about change Oh, I think that was definitely season one. Yeah, like if you go back and listen to that, like that was what two, two years ago, three years ago. It was a while, long time ago. Like to go from there to like now, and it's like you know change is coming. Yeah, you you know it's right there. Like you you feel it, and like that's where I'm at. Like I feel there's something, but it's like exciting but it's nerve wracking at the same time um like for me though the the only advice i would give you yeah yeah because he's a little bit older than me just a little bit no i'm, I'm actually getting younger than you. i told you i'm turning back the hand of time when you get to a certain age you like me i count backwards now but it's not that you know i am ashamed of my age or anything like that I just don't want to keep track of it no more. So, <laughs> so you want me to keep track of mine? No, nah, you do. Nah. You, you you do that on your own. I do. I yeah. really do. Well, I mean, when you got kids, like I was like, who, who, how, how you, how you don't like when you have kids, like ours, you're going to remember your age. I mean, but, but it, it not has to be a, a a point in your life where you just take control like me i'm at that i'm at that stage now like but see you've been rocking and rolling for a little bit though like like i started I, this a while ago but that's what i'm saying like you've been rocking and rolling with that for for a minute like i'm just like getting older getting older is actually like a realization for me mm. like you know I'm very um, like health matters, you know, like I got to make sure I'm eating healthy, I, you know, to keep up with the kid and keep up with my husband, Jesus. Like, you know, so we turning go, back the hand. We go time. to bed like we go to bed early. But is it early? I don't, I, I don't want to say that it's early. I just think I think it's early. Than responsible. Right. That's what I'm saying. Well, it's still that early because I'm not yeah. telling people that late. Yeah, early. But we go to bed at responsible hours. Like we are, you know, doing all the vitamins and the supplements and, you know. So I think like with this comes. That's I guess that's the change. I mean, we want to live for a long time. I mean, yeah, so. we do. But yeah. like, <laughs> You gotta you gotta do something different if you want different results. You know? Yeah, I mean I I get it, but you know, you know it's still it's still a little you know it was just very um it was very overwhelming though, like just the reflection part in the okay, what do I do now? You know, continue to show me me because now I'm 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 heading into a new age bracket so, you know so what do i do to prepare for that what like what does that need to be like what things am i still yet dealing with and trying to overcome that i need to kind of you know have self moving out of the way so that was like a really big part of it you know well as uh one of our mothers of the church would say keep living keep believing <laughs> keep keep all the older people say keep living keep, keep living so, um but yeah but overall, how was your uh, birthday? I did homework. Old oh, person I know. Like, everybody's like, you did what? I did homework. Um, Is that picking them up or are we good? We're good. Oh. Um, uh, we got kids. We got homework kids. gaming. We got kids. They gaming right now. Um, so the next episode will be about... Uh, gaming and raging so yeah you'll get to the bottom of all this yeah please that's the next episode just giving you a sneak peek <laughs> but no i um i did homework i relaxed we tried to um you know the girls and i we attempted to watch some old movie about dogs um 
All dogs go to heaven. No, it definitely wasn't that one. It was some. It was Ozzy. Uh, Ozzy That's a classic. Think, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, but no, other, I mean, other than that, like, I mean, I enjoyed the day. Like, I had to get out of my head a little bit. But um, you know, missing Graham. Mm-hmm. You know, but I mean, I I heard from people, which was different because you know. Well, you got people who love you. Yeah. yeah so you know? I heard, you know, I got unexpected phone like phone calls I wasn't expecting, and so, yeah. Well, um, stepped out last night. You know, had a little date yeah, night. You know what I'm saying? That I realized I was like, yo, we do like go to bed at a responsible hour because we were both tired. Like you came home and cried. I've like, been up since two a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I'm- I better crash. Like I was just like, yo. You gotta think about even on our like weekends, you get up early. We do. We yeah. Because I I mean I slept into what nine ish, nine thirty ish, which is still early. Yeah. So, but yeah, overall, I know. I enjoy it. You gonna put some footage somewhere? Of uh. You know. What? Our date night. Uh, actually, we're gonna do a, a, a uh, review okay. on that well, one. It's not, y'all can't get. Uh, no, you have to watch. Again, the food I mean, you gotta you gotta watch the food. You gotta watch the food because yeah. this place deserves to be reviewed. Like, I feel know? like we should go back again and like have like double like. I don't know. You know like I mean, like go back before we drop that review. I feel like we should go back. And do what? And like eat something. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Let, oh, <laughs> today's topic. Let's get no, into it. Oh, you missed the part. What, 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 what the part? There's <sighs> never a dull moment. Oh, yeah. What you got? Well, I mean, today, I go off today, it's never a dull moment. Okay. Now, um, my little one, Don't Mo call Sister her. 2. Don't call her a whole name. Mo Sister 2. I was called by her for government. That means she um, She has this tooth that is like <laughs> the most wiggly of the wiggly. Like it's leaning forward. It's like, hi. It literally has the gangster lean. Um, and she's, she's, she's such a great actor. And I, I commend her for the dramatic roles <laughs> that she plays here oh, uh gosh. my wife is trying to pull this she's trying to get it out y'all she's just like she's like i'm gonna hold daddy's hand I'm so i'm daddy. holding her hand right so <laughs> like i'm scared i'm so scared I just and i'm like <laughs> i'm like i'm just holding her. i said hey trying to be confident as a father that i am I and i say hey look if it starts to hurt, just squeeze my hand. Okay. So then she was like, I need my <laughs> I need my stuffy. You know what I'm saying? So she got the stuffy. Eventually she didn't get her two full. Nah. Um, really so really. that never happened. So never that happened. goes to show Academy Award goes to most sister two hey, for man. most dramatic tooth scene. It is crazy. It's wild. Oh, because I'm just trying, like, in my mind, I'm sitting up here like, the dentist has already told me, like, hey, if you don't pull them quick because of where they are, she's going to need braces. So, like, I'm trying to save us some money in the pocket of the long run. Hey, so, we might have to go find me. She's not, she's not going to hit that. She's not <laughs> going to hit that. Like, she don't care. She's not. And so, y'all just, you know, keep us in prayer. Keep me in prayer about these teeth because I'm the one right now pulling them. We're going to pray. The Holy Ghost knocked them, knocked them out. out. It, <laughs> really, it's like it's it's two at the bottom and it's one at the top. But the two at the bottom, those are the ones her bottom teeth are. They push them up. So yes, please help us. Uh, do you have a never, 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 ne- ne- never a dull moment? Never a dull moment. All right. So this is, of course, most of the two. Y'all, y'all hear how the she is. Up. So last night, you know, we're at dinner. Like we are, you know, I did real good, but then like all of a sudden I'm like, why do I have all of these Google meat? Like all these missed Google meats. 
I get one. Mommy, it's 8.26. What time are you coming home? I'm prepared here. Mommy, it's 8.59. Is it time for bed yet? Now, this is her leaving me messages on my Google Meet. So, I'm just like, really? I come home. She's in the bed. All she wanted was, like, to cover her up. It's really not even that. Like, she was cool because when we came home... They eating PB and J sandwiches. Chilling. Like they chilling. So I think it was just, it was her first time where like she just knew we were out oh, without oh. her having fun. She didn't like that. And she didn't know how to take it. Blood hey, Jane. No. <laughs> so she made sure that every moment she interrupted all the way until Daddy fell asleep. Yeah. yeah. So that that was my, you know. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah. Truly, uh, never yeah. a dog mom. Never a dog mom. And soon we'll be having some videos to upload of those <laughs> never a dog moment. My goodness. Jeez. Oh, why am I missing with that, sir? Um, let's get on to our topic today. Our topic today is... Is it the one I think it is? It's probably the one that you think it is. Oh, man. But I don't know what you're thinking. Okay, so you... So I can't it. say <laughs> you can't that say. is what it is. But our topic today, I asked my wife this about a couple weeks, three weeks ago, maybe. Um, but today's topic, I was talking to my wife about this uh, three weeks ago. Was and I was like, should you be your um, significant other's significant other's spouse? With spouse. Biggest fan. Number one biggest fan. Number one for her. You know what I'm saying? Should you be? And wasn't that a song? Let's stay focused. That's what it was. I think that's how it came out to you. You know. Should you be? You asked me that? That's the, the, that, that was the question. Oh, yeah. That was so, the question. So, this is going to be an interesting topic because... We might be coming from two different sides, huh? We may be coming may from two different be sides. Two different sides. Which, which, hopefully, even coming from those two different sides, we can meet in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure not to lie? They did. I'm gonna talk to. Hey, gaming crew. Uh, Mo sister one two and J Mo. Noise volume is too loud. You're too loud. That's fine, but you still too loud. If you do that, you still need to uh, keep it turned off. So. so you can do that. Soundproof all these rooms. It's been good. No, we just need a bigger house with our room and the coordinate area. All right, we're going to post our uh, cash app. Close door. <laughs> what? You got a whole brother in there that can take it down. Go close your sister door, too. But that don't mean get super duper loud. Cause we can still hear you through the walls. Yeah. All right. So, and the question was: I mean, should your significant other be your spouse? No. To be, should your spouse be so your number you, one fan? I said you getting all tongue twisted. I said should your significant other spouse? Yeah. Be, be your, your number, number one fan. Ladies first. Ah, uh, you that ain't right. All the ladies. Nah, that ain't right. And Joanna is right. No, you got that. All right. This. Why you have it, sister? Sorry. Uh, Somebody that close to my face, they need her. Oh yeah. <laughs> Zoom in on that right there. Look, he got a whisker. He got a whisker. Right? Out of my face. Um. <laughs> this is my take on it, right? Like I've been thinking about this thing since you asked me. And then it's so funny because being that it was put out and that was what you asked, like, I think I've seen like reels or like stuff on social media, like talking about it. And so, well, you know, the phones are listening. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> like, it's it's crazy. Like how like, <laughs> it was, like, it just pop up, like, like, and I think I shared some with you, but this is my take and my thought process behind it. Right. So, I, my thought process of it is, you should be your own number one fan, 
And I say that because even though your spouse is there to cheer you on, right? If something were to happen to your spouse or, you know, unfortunately enough, if something were to happen or even if they're just not in the right mindset to cheer you on and be your number one fan in whatever moment you're walking out, like, you still got to keep moving. So how do you do that? Like if I'm doing, okay, let's just take me in school. Like we could do that, right? Why I keep doing this to myself? I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. So me in school, right? I don't know how many, I've been in school with for the last three years, Seven four years, years, thousand years, I think. I've been doing <laughs> schooling or going back for something for like at least the last three years, right? And it boggles my mind every time I choose to do it. So you, ch- you, you know, yeah, babe, go ahead and do it. You know, I'm behind you. I support you 100%. Okay, you're my fan in that. Like you're, or you're my support. I, I don't really like saying fan, like, but. For sure, say fan. Um, like nothing's wrong with it. It just oh, sounds, okay. yeah, no, nothing's wrong. It just sounds, you know, weird in that scenario. Um, But, if you're cheering me on and you're boosting me up, right, in that part, well, what happens the moment that I do want to go and then you like, uh, babe, you might need to take the time out in that. But I still, like, feel the urge that I need to be going. And so in some moments... You like in some moments you might be like, babe, you need to take like it may be something that somebody's okay, babe, you doing too much. Like you need to break, you need to take a break. Right? Mm-hmm. So if you're saying I need to take a break and you don't wholeheartedly not just and not saying that you do, I'm just using it as an example. Um, but if you wholeheartedly in that moment feel like that isn't the right time for me to do it, and I feel like, no, this is the unction that I'm getting to go ahead. And you're not, then you're not my fan for that thing. You may be my fan for something else, but you're not my fan for that thing. So in order, if I go ahead and I, I'm in it and I'm like pushing forward, but you still like, you see the struggle, right? You see the struggle. At some point though, I still have to be that self-motivating to push myself through because you're not doing the work for me. Right? Like you ain't doing no, you ain't doing no work for me. So that's why I say like in certain instances, you still have to be your number one cheerleader because there are some times where you may not or your spouse or significant other may not be in the place to boost you to that level that you need or to cheer you on. Because if something happens to you and you can't, like, if you down, like, I got to now motivate myself. I got to go to work. Got to get the kids out. Got to make sure the house taken care. I'm in school. Like, in those moments, like, you're you're down. Like, when you sick, that's where, like, the sense of time really comes for me. Because when you sick, you know, all you do is sleep. You don't really interact. You don't say much. Afterwards is when you come back and you reaffirm. So even in those moments... I'm having to push myself, all right, to like, all right, do do this. You know, you got it. That's where I have to come in and be my number one cheerleader because at any moment, me depending on, even though you're my spouse, me depending on an affirmation from a human is not, um, depending on affirmation from you is not the thing that should send me forward. That's like my take. I, I, I hope I'm answering that right, but... That's kind of like my take on it. Like you should be there to support, but I should be my number Ooh. one cheerleader because whatever I'm doing, I'm going, I'm going forth in that thing. You should be my support, like my support in it. That's how I see. That's that's just my thought process. But I know you probably got a whole nother because like you, you about to go, <laughs> you probably about to throw some stuff. You know, is there a right or wrong answer? Hey, mom, dad, is there a right or wrong answer? Mom, we might need couples in Richmond after this. This. Tomorrow. 
because it's late. Yeah. And your brother hasn't, he hasn't cleaned the tub out and y'all are gaming. So go game. But go game and close your door because you're loud. Okay, let us finish. I love you. Thank you. Um, did that make sense? Though? That makes I mean, sense. I understand what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. I just want to make sure I'm, like, I'm not, I'm making sense for the people. Y'all. I'm trying to make sure I'm making sense for y'all. I mean, I get that. You know, find, finding your own happiness. That's what you're talking about. You know, don't rely on anybody else to make you happy. Right. Right. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> She sips water, y'all. She hey, look. Water. Those who are listening in the car, I, I want you to know uh, I really do love you. Thank you for the support. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the downloads. Y'all really show a lot of love on the podcast side. If you really want to watch the video, come to our YouTube yeah. channel, The Made Over Channel. It's a lot of action over here. Holy crap. Um, If you want to see, don't put it on while you're driving. Please don't. Please, we don't want to be distracting you. While you drive, be safe. All right, uh, my take, my take on this wow. whole thing, because I, I, I often <laughs> think about this. I do, I do think about this, and the crazy part is, mom did speak about this in couples and richly. <laughs> is I not listening then? <laughs> <laughs> and I wish it's not eleven. I'm not gonna call her, but <laughs> <laughs> but it was here's my take on it because mom's mom and couples enrichment said, okay, you should always be your spouse number one fan. I do remember, and that. at first I said, huh? oh, that doesn't make sense. But as she began to break it down even more, and I began to dive into it even more. I thought to myself, it's not bad if I'm your number one f- fan. Because if... Because that is like supporter. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. My my ultimate goal as a husband is to support. Right. To root, to cheer on. Right. So me as a number one fan, and this this, I will talk to the men on this. If your wife is not your your number one yes. fan or you you're not supporting your wife like that then what is in between that gotcha that makes sense like what like like what is is it like for me we've always been taught that the order is god first right your wife right. yeah and then everything else falls up under that right right so if i go god then yourself I mean, to to me, right. We're we're put here to serve. Mm-hmm. In a lot of ways, this is to to me. That this is to me, because I'm older now. I I've been a oh, I've yeah. been around a lot of seasoned vets. Yeah, you know. in the marriage game. Right. Yeah. And That's true. if I'm taking notes on what they do, all they do for the most part is serve their wives. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. And a lot of this stuff, if you pay attention, most good husbands, these these are most most I'm talking about wow. the thoroughbreds with one percentage. If they if they wife suggests, you know, some I'm thirsty and I want this specific water in his head, he's like, um, I'm going to get that water. Yeah, you do that all now. Because <laughs> most. One percent husband. I'm gonna say one percent because most husbands are not like this. Yeah. Most husbands, like, I'm gonna put it off to tomorrow. I should get it tomorrow. Yeah. No. Yeah. But I believe we're put on this this earth to serve. Like, I'm not saying neglect yourself. I'm not, like, I'm not. Don't don't, don't take it that way. Uh-huh. But what I am saying is, if you're gonna root for anybody. It should be your wife. It should. It better be yeah. your wife. Yeah. <laughs> like, how would it be if I'm rooting for? A, a, and I, I know my sport people get upset about this, but I don't give two. How would it be if I put 
whatever sports team that I like over you. Especially if you're not into that. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and crazy part, E.T. talked about this, too. And like I said, I, I watch a lot of season married people and how they move mm -hmm. and how they maneuver because it's different from the most of what society has right so et was like you spend three to four hours watching the game but we can't get you to spend three to four hours of playing what you want to do for your for your family uh -huh. and the future of your family right and the future of your wife and i was like oh but i don't do that yeah, as I say, but you... I don't spend time that way, but but it makes me understand why it's so much dysfunction in the family. Yeah. And I think, like, I mean, and it, like I said, because it, it makes total sense of when you put it in perspective of that way. But I guess I was looking at more of the the tangible. So, like like you said, you're still, you're still supporting... And the support is still the number one support, but when you put it in the in the tone of, hey, it's the serving of this, yeah. then yeah, no. Now it's like, okay, nah, Tiff, you need to be making sure that what Mo is doing and what it, like that's that's where the support like so that makes total, yeah, total I got sense. It. I have to make sure that you're top priority. Yeah. Because if I don't, I feel like God will get me. Yeah. It makes sense. Like if because if you're not the head too. Yeah. I'm if I'm the head of the house and my wife my wife it's a God in, in your wife. Yeah. If anything is if anything is in between that. Yeah. To me, it's only a ripple effect. Yeah. And I think as 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 wives it becomes a juggle sometimes because we like with the kids making sure the kids are good. But like what I've also learned to do is, okay, are they good? But making sure you also have what you need because you said, you know, and, and this is pulling it back around to help me to be in more perspective of no bay you know, you need God and then me because when the kids get older, they're going to be, they're going to leave us. It's, it's going to be just me. Them jokers are going to be rolling. Hey, I mean, it's going to be gone. <laughs> they might come back around. They might come spend a night with us. But at the end of the day, it's you and I. So it does always bring, like when you say things like that, it always brings back the perspective because as, as mothers, we are automatic nurturers and we, tend to nurture the babes but one of the things like that i've always done is i've always made like i mean and this is this goes into the, i guess say the small stuff but um for some people it's a it's a big deal but like i always fix your plan i always make sure like these are like little things that i've learned okay this is how i can serve my husband yeah i can fix my plate easy but then let me also make sure i'm fixing your plate yeah. as well and so it comes into that that's where as women we have to have that balance because it is easy to get caught up in you know the the routine and that rat race of oh let me make sure the kids are done but no it's actually let me make sure that my husband is taken care of because my husband is the head of the house like when he goes down whoo Okay, let me make sure he has everything that he needs. I, I'll give case of one. Like the day I didn't know you get dental work done. Ooh. So like I felt real bad <laughs> because I didn't know it was dental work, but it was like, okay, well, what do you need? Like mm -hmm. not what they need. Okay, what do you need me to get for you? And even I was tired, even though like I really wanted to get into bed and like go to sleep next, go to sleep next to you. It was still a matter of, no, the head has to be taken care of. In order for you to still flourish, you got, I have to serve you by getting you what you need. Yeah. Because if the shoes were flipped and roles were reversed, guess what? You're going to make sure I have everything that I need. And I think that's where that support comes in and it looks different than my initial example. Because 
if I'm not your fan, dude, go to the store, get your own mashed potatoes and your own, you know what I mean? Like that's some relationships. Dude, I ain't doing this. I just got off work. Da, da, da. Go get your own mashed potatoes. Go get your own applesauce. Like that's how some relationships are. And I think th those are a lot of relationships too that are. Um, Bless you. Nine times out of ten, they're just roommates. Right. You know, and uh, like, I don't want to be in a relationship where I'm just rooming with somebody. I want to be happily married. I want to be, right. you know, loving who I'm with. I think before we even got together and we were even talking about marriage, I think one of the things I always told you that, you know, you want to be with a person is that when you, when you look over and you see their face, can you constantly look over and see their face day in forever? Like, can you just be like, this is the person I want to be with. Yeah. Every time you look over it, I'm talking about flaws and all. Yeah. Can, when you look over it, can you see forever? Or can you just see uh, that short-term thing? Yeah. Because you got to think, everybody changes. Yeah. People go through changes. They say women change five years and men change every 10 years or something like that. I feel like I change all the time. And you have to adapt to that. <laughs> yeah. You have to adapt to it. Like today she may want um some uh All right. yep. pasta. Right. Like oh, this. <laughs> she 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 may want pasta. But then she may say, Look, hey man, I got a taste for some seafood boy. You know, like but right. you have to accommodate that. Yeah. And I think we as and this can go for if you're if you're married or not married. Yeah. And I always talk to my son because he's single, and I always tell him like, if you ever want to be married, don't be selfish. Stop being selfish. Right. In a marriage or in a relationship, it's never about you. Yeah. If you pay attention, when we're on this earth, everything we do is never about right. building us up. It's always a helping matter to something or someone else. Mm -hmm. So. It should be easy. It should be easy should be. to serve or be your wife's number one fan. I'm not about to school because of the kids. <laughs> I mean, look, I love the kids. I love y'all. Listen, all those who are listening, subscribe to the channel. Y'all talking about, hey, that's Mr. Mo. Listen, listen, I love y'all. But y'all go to a different grade and go to a different school. And won't even worry about that. And school. it's going to be a whole nother set of kids in there. And at the end of the day, it's going to be her. And yeah. that's why a lot of times I come to the school. I mean, listen, I love empowering kids all day. Yeah, I, I feel like me and my wife empower kids and empower families all day. And at the end of the day, I have to make sure she's grounded. I'm hey, I, I'm literally your ground wire. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, all day. Like, I have to be your ground wire. But... In the midst of me being your ground ground wire, I, I have to make sure I'm grounded to God. Right. Yeah. So. And then I have to make sure that I'm not making it difficult for you to be in that place, like in that spot. Like yeah. that's the. And that's I don't want people to think we've always been like this because no, we, we have not tugged the sure tools. Is. You know that we, we but <laughs> it's it, it wasn't bad though. No, I mean I think, but when we go back and i mean like you said like we we just because this this couples in Richmond was recently basically um and a lot of it is really understanding what your like what your role is in a marriage or in a relationship so that's what i had to realize like i you know here i am coming from like you said the live-in roommate relationship type situation well both did right. right and so having that that looks totally different from marriage and the tough questions would you like you said you would ask was hey can you look over at me and see me for the rest of your life and it was like ooh, that's deep <laughs> but you had to like you have to think about it. like you said flaws like like if we go back oh i see some of them pictures sometimes and my little story memory things. But when we go back, like we were, y'all, we look rough. 
Like we look rough. We did. You Tell look, look rough. We did. You look rough at you. You were all like scruffy. Don't don't. Do you know what I'm like, I'm talking about when I say rough, like just because we were in the world at the time. So we did. We look rough around the edge. Oh, we was, uh, well, we was in the world. We even, did, yeah, we was yeah. horrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> but when we were looks. like we looked totally different, and so watching the evolution of that, like our relationship as one friends but our relationship as husband and wife has actually grown more because well we are older but two we are seeking out the right way to do it so that it can be a less support and let serve yeah like i think i think the the one thing mom said years ago and that was when we were early on don't be fixing dad plate and you ain't fixed your husband plate. That's right. And I was like, ooh. Dad said that too. Uh, yeah, and I was like, okay. But he didn't say it towards the plate. He was like, don't. Don't be doing for Don't him. jump to do yeah, for me so quick. And, and then. And you, ha- and you don't do for your own husband like that. Like, that was so eye-opening. And so that's why no matter where we are, it's like, okay, babe, you good. Even, like going out to eat last night i know that you are protector mode so i sat where i sat so that you could be facing the door Mm. you know like so is me noticing those little things that's why i said that's me knowing what role i'm to play as you are being the number one support in my life i gotta i gotta make it easy for you like i gotta know okay this is what role he plays and then how do I fit into that to make sure that I'm not making it difficult? And I think that's where it all kind of go full circle because yeah. sometimes, yeah, we still have to cheer ourselves up. Like we, because, you know, he can't make me happy. He can't, you know, give me the joy. Like those are things that I have to see. So in some things, yes, I have to seek out my own happiness. I have to do that. He can't do that. But in the instance of just, relationship and marriage and marriage marriage between a man and a woman like that's that's him that's that's his his cross to carry because he is the head of the household that was how it was the, it was designed to be like hate it or love it right like that was how it was designed to be so come on you know like bray like and, and this is the reason why i talk to a lot of uh your men because and I always tell them, like, listen, you're going to be the head of the house. You're going to be the head of something. Something. I guarantee you. And you have to watch how you lead. Because I think I was just having this conversation with my son. I said, the thing about a man is that you can lead your family to some of the most greatest things in the world. Leave a legacy and all. Mm-hmm. But the flip side of that, if a man is not trained up the way that he needs to be trained, he will literally be destroying his family, leading his generation, his family down to God knows what. And that's why I put pressure on him. That's why I put and when he see me, he know how to treat a woman. He knows that you don't let women touch doors as far as down. Like he look at me sideways. Every time I go to and it's because. But it's a, it's the training. It's it is. Teaching him, it's teaching him before he even gets in a relationship. Like this is what it, it is supposed to look like. But not only is it training him, it's also training the girls because they know like mm, he with us, you know, Jay's with us in the car. So we're uh, we don't touch the door. Yeah. Like they know that, and then and it flips sometimes. It's, it's kind of cute, but when I'm in the car and like we pull up at the house, they know like the house is the safe spot. Okay, we can open our doors when we're at the house, and so they go to like open the door for me, or when we're walking to the car, they open. Mommy, we're gonna open the door because Daddy and Jay they're not here to open the door. Oh. So <laughs> it'd be cute, y'all. Um, so cool. but they know like I've tried. I've not train them i've taught them that they're only safe places to do that like we out about they know it's like okay but that same training it stems down because they're not old enough to understand what they see they just know okay this is something that daddy's teaching jay and jay and daddy open doors so whatever guy they meet down the line 
It better be open the door. doors. Yeah, and they will stand yeah. out. They will not touch the door. They will stand there, and they will just stand, or they will, or they will sit <laughs> until the door is open. And that's what we have to to do. But um, in reference to what you were saying, where you know the men are going to be, you know, heads of something. If if we as women don't be careful. The man can still be doing like Mo can be doing every single thing right. But if Tiff want to be foolish, Tiff can still destroy the house. So Mo can be building, but I could be the foolish woman still tearing it down. It's possible. So it's very we have to be very careful. And that's why I said women like know know your place. It's not you know your role. Okay. All right. <laughs> He'll go. Be Wayne Johnson. <laughs> Um, but I think that is so important because a lot of women look at the, you know, the head of the house, like like I said, it's support. It is a whole support beam. So if I don't let you support me, then I'm messing up the order. (laughs) And so as women, we have to be very careful when we have good men. Now I got, I, I got a one percenter. I got it. I got a one percent. Uh, right. Uh, okay. Um, but that's why a lot of people, when they say, "Well, my husband doesn't do this," and then I'm like, "Well, my do so." I'm sorry, I don't understand. I don't get that. We have to be very careful too of how we're building up our men because that is part of that support. That's where we have to be their number one fan, and we got to come back and build them up on days where they're weak like there are days where i'll pray for him and i don't even know why i'm praying that particular day like in the realm that i'm praying in Mm -hmm. you know it's always okay god you know cover my family but when i i know when i'm going in specifically and it's fully covering my head like okay something must be going on and i'm not aware of it and he know what's going on and he ain't said nothing so i now have to intercede that's me being my husband's fan and my husband's supporter because I'm now interceding on his behalf. Sometimes, probably unbeknownst to you, sometimes. Um, because I mean, but it 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 goes twofold because every time before I leave the house, if you ever pay attention, if you're not in the AD, you know, like I, mean, I always touch you. See, I be sleep. I be sleep sleep always, and and it's not just just to get it on, <laughs> but. <laughs> 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 but before I step out of the bed, this is my routine, and men, I believe that you should do this. Before I, before my feet hit the floor, I'm always number one. If my eyes are, uh, when my eyes are open, I'm always thanking God for number one for life, health, and strength. But I'm always having the conversation with God, and this is before my feet hit the ground, and then. I always place my hand on my wife and just pray for her. Have you sleep? I don't feel none of that. Every I'm talking about every every day I do this, and then before I go to sleep, I would t- uh, uh, and I don't even know if you know that I would literally I I I'll find a way to touch you her. Make, I I know that sometimes like you make contact, but I don't. Sometimes I be thinking you be up. Um, but yeah. And I'll just make that contact because my thing is to cover her before I go to sleep and then cover her when I wake up. And then when I wake up, I'm nine times out of ten, I'm walking through the house and I'm praying before I leave. Yeah. And as I'm exiting, I'm still yet praying for every part over here. Mm-hmm. That's just who I am. That's like, I believe... My mom, I, I used to watch my mom do this all the time. Just walk around the house, just praying, praying. She's speaking tongues. Sometimes you think she was crazy. I was like, man, she ain't got no interpreter. She's just down there speaking <laughs> in tongues. She out of order. <laughs> <laughs> not, not she out of order. <laughs> no, she out of order. But that was just me being young, you know, and not really understanding. Not that she out you know, of order. But okay. I used to, she, she used to come into our room and pray for us. And then she just put oil on our head. She used to always just pray for us all the time. And when I was young, I used to think like, 
this lady is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, she is losing it. But I got to go to school with this <laughs> oil your ex on my not head. The, not the nah, man, but, but you got the oil. As I'm older now, I get it. I understand it now. I know that you're supposed to cover your house. And, you know, mom and dad always teach talks about covering yeah. the house like mom talks about how she covers dad as he go from x y to z yeah. and then dad talks about how he's always praying over mom well, like yeah. but these are things we were never shown yeah that's 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 true i think too just the 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 viewpoint comes from how you i mean it comes from the upbringing yeah because Nobody ever taught us, like, well, it taught me, I'll say that. But, like, I can't say that my mom came in the room to pray. Now, I can't say, I don't remember her coming in the room, but it doesn't mean she didn't pray. Yeah. Um. So, like, things like that, I knew. But then when it came down to marriage and the support and what that's supposed to look like, oh. man, shoot. <laughs> I already learned that until, I, until we got here. Like, like it's because everybody's viewpoint of marriage between a man and woman is completely different. And even though ours is different as well, I still want to make sure that whatever Mo is given or whatever Mo has shown, and when he speaks those things to me, I'm at hearing. Now, some of it, I'd be like, what? That don't make no sense. I like this don't make sense at all. But okay. But I have to She's process. like, why? I'm like, for what? Then like, it's crazy about men. <laughs> this, this is what I would do. This is exactly what I would do. Because I like, I'd be like, he ain't tell me why. We saw what he just said, do this. And the thing about God is that the, the, that's just when, I, when he, he gives in parts. Yeah. And I'm only gonna give you the part that I know. I'm like, no. like most most men be like, shoot, he probably saying it for this. <laughs> I'm not gonna make up nothing. I'm sorry, I'm scared here. <laughs> I'm like, why? Like, you know, I'm saying, get me in trouble. But it's <laughs> it's funny though because that, but that is that's kind of how our relationship is. Like, I'm like, why? Why we got to do it? Why I got to be this way? You know. Like when you told me, hey, babe, just pull off first. No, babe, we going a different way. Will you still go first? Okay. Like it it didn't like certain things don't really dawn on me until he goes, well, I don't know why. I just know it's supposed to be that way. And so then that's where sometimes I used to put up the fight a little bit more. You did. You I put fight. up, the, I would fight tooth the nail because fight like it, him up. it didn't make sense. What do you mean he said and you don't know why he said? Like, come on, you got to give me more than that. And then a lot of it was just my upbringing of you not going to tell me what to do. Two, like a you lot of think it was. About that. Though? You know, what I think about what? We went to see that movie, uh, His Son. Oh, His Only Son. <laughs> When we seen that, when yeah. how uh, Sarah said Sarah, Sarah got, was a whole piece of work, but she he was, was hearing from God, right? Right. He like, hey, God said, listen, boom, <laughs> this was about to happen. What you mean? What like, you mean? Like, that like, you, you can't tell me Sarah wasn't like like no uh no sister. She was no. And, <laughs> in that movie. If you had seen it, like and you were up, the great one. You was upset at her. Like I what? Was, I didn't watch she, but then when I realized, I forgot what I did, and you said, "All right, Sarah," and I was like, "Ooh." I said, "No, you acted like so okay, ready." Yeah, and I was like, "Ooh," because I then understood what that meant so even now going forward in whatever role he's supporting in i make sure or try to make sure that i catch what i say or catch my rebuttal because every murmuring word that i feel like i need to say doesn't always need to be said because if I do say, it, am I really now his number one fan supporting him in the role that he's trying to lead? Then you also got to think, like, are you building or are you tearing down? Right. That part right there. 
because support is not support is building support is not tearing out if i'm supporting you i'm building you up and that's in and that that goes that's good that goes not only for husband and wife that goes for friendships as well thanks because so that could be applicable to their realm is i don't know to get it's not you little head in the college <laughs> It's a little college ruler on it. Whatever. <laughs> but it is like that's that's the thing is I like as his wife, I have to sit back and do self examination. And I think that was why if we take it back to like the beginning of this when we were talking about, you know, I'm getting older and how am I that was a lot of my processing. Lord, how can I be a better support to my husband? And still be able to do all of the other things that I do. Like that, what, what, what about me isn't, you know, of you, what do you need me to do? But then it became a, I just want to make sure that I am being the correct type of helpmate for mm -hmm. you. And then of course, being the correct type of mother and representative of our girls and our sons, because Come on, they what the girls are watching me, the sons are watching me to see what type of wife I am to oh, you. Facts. Like, so it if I'm not supporting you, they see that. If I'm not cheering you on and rooting you on, they see that. Like, that's that's self-check for me. Right there. That's like, okay, did you do what you need to do? Whatever Mo said. Uh like that's that's like uh, like that's 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 real and that's what we should be doing as wives. Did I do what my husband needed me to do today? Like I often think like like yes. even with ministries and me being in ministry. We do that. Yeah. Okay. It's real. Like turn the air on. Click there. Ugh. Sorry. See, this is a part of being a little thing, hey y'all. My phone's in here. So you better get yours. I know I'm getting stuff. Husband gonna be miserable for the rest of your life. Not with a step it up. This is making so much noise. Sorry. Um, I forgot what I was about to say. <laughs> you know, you smoke a lot of chronic back into that. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Uh, um, but I, I, I believe this is why a lot of people struggle in, in, in relationships spousal relationship and stuff like that is that we've lost the the will to serve mm. in our marriage yeah like i wonder yet it, it, if your marriage is dull like like we all like have great times we do and we too. Like we even if we just life. sitting on the blankets and like, chilling out. like and we don't have to go to i think I'm not saying vacations are bad, you know, you know. But we don't do know. we don't do all the money spending elaborate stuff because yeah. we probably should do some. I mean, I, I think eventually <laughs> we should that we we are going to do that. But, but our happy time is like on the other on the other recliner, touching each other as we fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, you know, and under blankets at the church, like because at the end of the day, I mean. If it takes a place to shift your romance, then I question your romance. Yeah. Like, it's like, not, it, it's it, not if it are. takes you being out of state to say, oh, yeah, now it's yeah, on. It is. Then I question that. Like, ooh, you sexy out of, you, you sexy while we're <laughs> away. And then you look different under these palm trees. <laughs> What's the difference between the palm trees and the oak trees? <laughs> Gary, you, Gary, you walking out. Oh, my God. Oh, no, man. I'm not. I would say my like, wife walked down the hall like, <laughs> my Lord, Jesus, you have been good. <laughs> Y'all, support comes in all forms, by the way. Was, like, uh, like, and the thing is, like, I'm into my wife. Like, like, I love my wife. Like, yeah. like, she, she, she is who, like, I just like, like, I will always chase her regardless of the situation. Even in to, to the day of my last dying breath, like I will always chase her. I will always flirt with her. 
I will always yeah, he, find some way to to. He see, flirt even more. I'm that husband that's peeking around the corner like, oh, oh yeah, that's it, that's it. And even when I don't catch the flirting, y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna put on some buckets. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to lose that step, you know, like because I, cause I think in marriages we get we just get so comfortable with each other. Yeah. See, we just here. We, we get comfortable with each other. Help me, Lord. And when you get comfortable with just with, with your significant other, your spouse, like it begins to get old to you. Yeah. So you you don't pursue, you don't chase like you normally would. Like you chase to get her, but yeah. now that you got her, you don't it's like, yeah, yeah, we're here now. That's it. You're knocked up. So <laughs> you <laughs> yes. I guess we should the end of You know, like me, but you it, it's right. more to life after yeah. that. But see, and that's where, though, too, that's where a lot of times with being your spouse's fan goes wrong because you did everything that you needed in the beginning. And then you, like like you said, we oh, try, I change all the time. I ain't had pasta in I don't know how long. And I said I wanted pasta. Excuse me. I said I wanted pasta and well, I don't even know. And then I was like, well, don't worry about it. We ain't find it. Like, but it's still one of those things. Like that keeps you on your toes. Like I can be vegan today, pescatarian tomorrow. I can be, you know, you whatever. I'm, I'm all of that. I want sometimes then I, I'll slide a rib and, you know, eat that. But hey, it's, it's still there's really literally when we say there's no dull moment there's really no dull moment like you know i don't i can't wear heels but i'm gonna put together a cute little sexy outfit for my husband and put my sneakers on and we finna make it work and the thing that is like i, I remember getting into the sexy outfits and you know like well, I mean, look, look the sexy, what I out there you know, you know like, like a little crop top look, you know all my wife seen. gotta do is just be there like <laughs> that's sexy for you like like you gotta understand, like I'm like I'm I am the number one. Yeah, you look like, it, you are. You be like, like you cute. Really? Brush my teeth, I ain't got no got dog go. Man, that's cute, eh? You are, you yeah, you be you 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 are. Because I'm I'm into you. Like yeah. like my my greatest investment will always be into you. Like my investment is for you, into you. Yeah. And that's just how it's supposed to be. Like where your where your heart is, is where your treasure is. Right. So if my heart is with you, then okay, that's the that's gonna be the good. I always tell people, most men, listen to me, listen to the key to life. It, 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 if you want your marriage to begin to start to work, your greatest investment won't be in the NBA team, won't be in the <laughs> NFL team. Won't be in anything outside of that. Your greatest investment is going to be your wife. Yeah. Period. Point blank. Because yeah. your NFL team, your NBA team is going to trade, switch up. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll change their name. They'll change what state they in. Yeah. Yo, but your wife will always be there throughout all of those changes. She should be there. She said, well, if she's <laughs> not, I understand. <laughs> I get it. Lady, I'm trying to. Trying to help them out. Help me. Help you. No. <laughs> <laughs> help who? Help you. But that's what I believe it is. You understand? Like, I'll never, I'll, I, I'll never get to the point where something is worth more than my wife besides God. Won't ever happen. And I've learned that. I'm glad I learned that at an early age. Yeah. Because when I'm older, I'm just gonna get more wise. I'm just gonna get like I'm just gonna get better at this life. Yeah. And for me, it's to get better at this life with both of us. Yeah. And I mean, and that's like I said, and at the at the end of it all, it is. Oh, sorry. But I see Lester. It came up in a bit. Joe woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I can't. That's right. I, I have just you too much, but um, it just goes to say that as 
as spouses, we have to do, we got to do better. Like there's still things that, you know, we, we work on all the time. We do. And if you're not at that point where you are your spouse's number one, you are not your spouse's number one fan, whether it's male or female, then what you have to do is you just have to make sure that y'all sit down and have the conversation. Y'all just happen to be getting a conversation while we own a <laughs> home podcast. But um, we have had this conversation still outside. Yeah. But you guys get to see the, the raw and uncut. So this is really modeling how it needs to be done and, and how it should be done. Say that how it should be done. Some of you that are listening or watching, you may say, eh, I still don't agree with that. I ain't trying to be submissive. I ain't trying to be his fan. I'll still try to what's the, um, you know, they do the picks. The fight, um, the fantasy draft. Well, I'm doing fantasy draft. It's football, you know. Football just started up, so you know. But you have to really sit back and ask yourself. I got everything. Look here, get this stuff. I'm just fitting in with all of the things right now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but you have to get to the point where you are totally 100 percent into your spouse when it comes down to support. Um, there's never been an instance where this man has not supported me. Like I can't even comb out, but I know that there's going to be, there's some where he could be like, I can even say to myself every single time he needed my support, I wasn't always in place. Um, and that was because I needed, I had to grow. Um, and the way it looked in the beginning is not how it looks now when it comes to support there are some things where i learn how to do and i just did them across the board there are some things that he's been doing since day one and so the way we support each other and the way we cheer each other on looks different he ain't trying to go to school he youtube it real quick he <laughs> might send me some stuff well, i got tons you t you tiktok it <laughs> <laughs> but when he finds something creative or interesting, it's like, hey, babe, look, check this out. I make sure now I'm still real, like, I'm still horrible about TikTok uh, video catching up on those. Oh. Um, but when I do go through, I do make sure to reply. I do make sure to like the video to acknowledge, like, okay, babe, I might be a week from seeing this, but I am acknowledging that I did see it. Yeah. So it's still affirmation to him. So he's not feeling like my wife ain't looking at none of this stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'm a week late, but I'm looking at it. And it's sometimes the very smallest of things in how we can show support and how we can be there. So being a fan and supporting being your, your spouse's number one supporter, they're hand in hand. They're pretty much the same thing. Um, and that's what we have to that's what we have to do. We have to sit back and ask ourselves. And it's a heart check. It's a heart check separately for men because you have a whole different task that has been given to you to be able to cover not only your wife, but to cover your entire family and carry your family. Women, we're tasked a little bit different because we can be foolish, one, but we still have a place to walk beside our husbands and be there and help out when that help is needed. So it kind of falls, for me, I see it twofold. Um, so I think... Yeah. It does. That's where we have to get. And that's why if we get to that point, we won't see as many people in failed relationships or failed marriages. I think failed marriages happen because nobody wants to fight anymore. Right. And, and, and we when get, you, yeah. when you get to that point and then, you know, mom, dad, always talk about you got to have the conversation yeah. instead of having just a conversation. Like you gotta get to those dark, deep, rooted things that are ugly. And they uncomfortable too. And it's uncomfortable for you to be comfortable. Right. If you're comfortable in your relationship, it's good, but it's only for a certain time. Mm -hmm. Because like I said, people are forever changing. Yeah. Always changing. Who's to say that my wife wanna wanna do podcasts all the time? Don't know. 
Who say that I'm going to want to do podcasts all the time? Don't know. But we here now. Now we know one thing. We're going to take do advantage that. of it. We know one thing we're going to do that. We're going to always eat. You know, that's what they want. So we're going to turn the camera on. <laughs> but in the closing, is there anything you want to leave uh, the wonderful people with? I mean, really just when it comes down to your spouse, they change. We change women more than they do probably but it's no all about it is it's true <laughs> but it's I'm all true. about it's about <laughs> <laughs> it's recent he did his research off uh he read the research so um but it's really about admitting where you can use the growth i is is not saying oh well he didn't do this yesterday no he has his own thing to deal with and as women we really have to start modeling for other women like I said it's not perfect but once you start having your own self check heart checks your mo what are your true motives and looking deep inside of those things that will help you to become a better person and once you inside are a better person it makes you be able to be more supportive to your husband and then if there's some things that you know women you you know hey i don't like that you spend three hours gaming and i can't get 30 minutes that is a that is the conversation that needs she to doesn't be come on me Just no no he does like, not spend three hours no he doesn't he doesn't even game y'all and don't even watch sports so we you know we we'll watch a little tennis clip and you know a little track but that's it. First of all, I'm a grown man. Yeah. <laughs> He's not saying the rest of you aren't grown men, but you know, but heart checks. You know, heart checks but are very I mean, important. You gotta also understand, like, in life, you either doing young man, little boy stuff. That's true. You're right. You're a grown man. You're right. That's and me, true. I'm a grown, grown man now. You take care of yourself. I can't. Look, I'm a good but um really it's just a heart check, y'all heart checks and motivations if you want it to work you gotta work on yourself because like i said if i if i when i wasn't happy with self and doing well those were the times where i can definitely say 100 percent, no i was not fanning you sir sure. like i wasn't trying to be your fan i wasn't trying to do any of those type of things like that was to me that was like what but now that okay i know how to seek out you know, gratification and self-esteem and building those things within myself, it makes it that much more easier to love on you, to make sure that I am doing the things that I need to do. And then when I don't do them and I fall short, I don't allow the pride to settle in where I can apologize. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where we really have to get. We got to stop blaming each other and really start looking at what am I, what have I done? Okay, so now let me fix that. Or how can I fix that? And that's where I think then you will get your greatest support and you will be most uh, efficient with being supportive as your husband's uh, helpmate. Yeah. And like I said, this is, you know, marriage between man and woman. Like you, your head is supposed to lead. Allow him to do that. And all me for me, and you heard her speak that, you know, she said, you know, at times she wasn't, you know, the best supporter. And I I could have easily did what most people do. Well, you didn't support me, so I'm not supporting you. You go to that stupid school by your own self. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, your brains. <laughs> but when, when you're serving <laughs> your wife and... I serve my wife unto God. I don't serve unto her because if I did, I would do the tit for tat. Yeah. I would do the, okay, since you didn't do this today, I I'm not doing this. this. And to me, that's tearing down. Mm -hmm. That's not building. Not. And it's not about what she does to me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna but it's about what I do to her. Yeah. 
it's that when I tell you, it takes weight off yourself because if you always, and I think we're always in that position to say, you know, we measure how people, how, how, how you treat us. Mm-hmm. If you treat me this way, then maybe mm-hmm. I might give you CPR. <laughs> I'm gonna do chest compressions, but I ain't about to do the mouth. Even mouth chest mouth. compression, and I'm intentional on how I feel about you. You know what I'm saying? So, but it can't be that way because when you're in a marriage and you say these vows, and it's a reason that they line y'all up to look at each other. To look at each other. And y'all say these beautiful vows. Oh my goodness. You say, I do. And the thing is, when you get married, if we're being honest, you're saying I do to the things you don't even see. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's deep. And the things you don't even see are the things that you're going to have to work on right. and work out. So yeah. regardless of the situation, when they say to death do us part, a lot of people die months after that marriage. Yeah. Because they just stopped trying. Yeah. It's not going my way. The honeymoon, like what the, what's the honeymoon season is over? Yeah. If you feel like, okay, this is it. No. You got Stick more. in the fight. Yeah. More, like one thing I would tell men to do, serve and have integrity. Oh, that's deep. Serve with integrity. That's real beautiful. You got to understand that this is your prized possession. And to me, when God gives you his gift, to me, God gave me her as a gift. So when I unwrap the gift, my thing then from there is to carry out and take care of the gift. That's just period, point blank. That's sweet. So... I don't take it as my wife is just normal. To me, she's not. Bless you. (laughs) To me, she's not and far from it. Especially if you're a believer, you're a man. Like, like you're... Mm -hmm. Your wife? Snatched from the rib? Come on. That's crazy. That's my thing. Serve with integrity. Yeah. That's good. So I guess that's it. You get emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Do more couple podcasts going coming up. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, well, like we always say around about this time, we really hope you enjoyed this podcast. I mean, I think I think I was a little off the chain today. You are uh, <laughs> extra. Nah, you, nah. I mean, but it. <laughs> It goes to show, like we we do this, we have fun, we are we are a a real human couple with issues. Yeah, we're not an AI. Like we not, he's just but never not. I cannot. Like we have problems just like everybody else, but we we've just learned how to maneuver through those things. And hopefully with these instructions that we give me, y'all, listen, we're not Somebody. professionals. We're not professionals, y'all. Hey, experience has a voice. Yeah. So, like we always say, Robert, this time. Thank you for tuning in to the Mo and Tiff podcast. And this has been episode number 43 for season three. Glad you said that. I'm about to say about the food and stuff. I'll be in between... I know we are. I'm not I know what I want with you. But <laughs> love y'all. See y'all next time. Thank you. Peace. All right, we out. You ain't supposed to do that. You ain't do that. What? No, no, no. What was it? The video? Oh, in this video. Oh. It's just. Hey, can you repeat this prayer with me? Here I am, Lord. I laid all down at your feet. And I repent of every sin that I've committed knowingly and unknowingly. Father, I truly need you. So I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead, that I may be saved. 
And Father, I ask God that you will fill me up as I empty myself. And I ask that you will show me your ways. In Jesus' name, amen.